My name is Justin Butler. I'm director of the uh, music degree program here at Caldwell Community College. And, uh, oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, this is our first concert of the Spring Performing Artists Series. Uh, and this series is a very eclectic one. Um, I generally like to draw from the world of music. Um, so today we'll hear some uh, two musicians from Senegal uh, playing some traditional and modern music from, uh, from the region. Um, in March, March 16th, we will have Kay and Patrick Crouch for an Irish heritage celebration, Irish music heritage. And in April, we will have a uh, trio to celebrate women in jazz. And then in the first week of May, we have a student recital for our music students uh, that are performing. Um, everybody's welcome to attend. And we have our chorus concert. So I do want to let everybody know that um, we have a variety of music courses, even if you aren't a music degree student, that you can participate in. Um, everything from class piano to music appreciation to chorus, um, it's available to everybody, um, community members and college students. Uh, uh, before uh, we let the music, uh, before we proceed with the concert, uh, I wanted to remind everybody to turn off your electronic devices or silence your cell phones or anything that make, uh, might make a distraction during the concert. Um, I do want to remind everybody, if you do need to leave uh, for any reason, to um, exit and enter between songs. So if you have to go to the restroom, try to exit um, between songs and come back in um, when you hear an applause. Um, and then I also want to thank the uh, Caldwell Arts Council for coming out today. Uh, they are uh, administering some surveys for an economic um, and arts economic impact study for Caldwell County. Uh, this is a hugely important thing for us in this county and our, uh, to demonstrate how um, important our arts economy is in this county. Um, so please take some time to fill that out. Um, it will benefit all of us uh, here in Caldwell County. And uh, without any further delay, let's hear some beautiful, beautiful music. Thank you for having us. My name is Jali. This is uh, my brother. We are uh, from West Africa, Senegal. Uh, this instrument I have here, we call that Cora 22 string. And I started to play it when I was five years old. But when I was, when I turned 10, I give up. I don't want to play it anymore because I want to play soccer. Yes, I love soccer. And my dad don't let me play soccer because I born with music and family. So everybody play music. Nobody had have any job, only music. Same here. That's true. <laughs> so I open, especially on my dad. It's not joke. Music go outside. You live outside. If you do something else, you're not his child. Only music. So that was a tough time for me. I was young. I want to do what I want. But it's not going to happen with my daddy. Sometimes I get hungry, I come home to eat. When I wash my hand, I want to eat. He hold my hand. Daddy, why? You're not going to eat my food. 
Why? Because this is music and food. It's not soccer playing food. Well, <laughs> that is why. I'm telling you the truth. If you want soccer food, go find soccer players so they can feed you. But this is a musician house. You play music, you stay. You don't play music, I'm out. So he kicked me out of the house. So I was living outside. But you know, when I'm sometimes I'm hungry, like my, my clothes is dirty, I want to change my clothes. When I want to eat, my mommy, she always sneak food outside and come change my clothes. Mommy, they're the best. I'm sorry, Papa, but they're awesome. So I was having a rough time with my daddy. And one day, I'm tired about running out, not being inside my house. So it was tough. One day I tell Daddy, I'm ready. Can you teach me how to play? He refused me. He said, I'm not going to teach you. What? Daddy, why you don't want to teach me? He said, don't ever think I'm going to sit, waste my time, sit teaching you. So why you stop me to play soccer? He said, no, I'm not going to teach you. So I was blaming my dad. He's mean. Daddy, you mean. You bad. You don't love me. I was wrong. Because he sees something from me. I don't know that. I don't see it myself. But he see that. So I don't know why my dad refused me, don't want to teach me Kora. I went to talk to my mom. Mom, I decide now to play Kora. But I tell daddy to teach me, daddy said no. My mom said that's not my business. <laughs> that's between you and you, dad, figure it out. And then I blame my mom. I say, mom, it's your fault, you don't help me. Mom said, okay, say whatever you want. That's between you, you dad. It was tough. And I tell my dad, you teach all my brother and my nephew. What about me? Why you don't want to teach me? He don't answer that. I wait late night, midnight. I, I was inside my room, I locked myself there, I was crying, and my mom knocked the door, asked me what's going on, I said, because daddy don't want to teach me how to play. But mom, please, go to my daddy room, grab his cora, bring it to me, I can show my dad I can do this. Mommy said, that's what I'm talking about. She went to my daddy room, grab his cora. I'm not allowed to have cora at that time because I'm 12 years old and my fingers too short to read 21. My generation, we add this note to make it 22 because we play different <coughs> instruments, guitar, violin, piano. So we have to have this note to communicate with them. But my dad generation is 21. <coughs> So they don't play with different in, uh, instruments. They play by themselves all the time. So my generation, we have to play with the guitar, every different instrument. So my mom bring my daddy Cora, and I, so I, I went inside my room. I locked myself, <coughs> turned the light off. I play my daddy favorite song. He never taught me. But I hear my daddy play that song a lot. And I see when my brother is playing that song, my dad offered him money. And then I saw my dad, I played that night that song. My dad wake up <coughs> middle of the night asking my mom, who's playing Cora? Mommy said, Jelly. 
and then he come to me. He said, can you turn your light on? I said, yes, I did. He said, you know why? I don't want to teach you. I'm be honest with you. Because I'm really proud of you. The gift you have, when I was your generation, I don't have that. My dad have to teach me. <coughs> but why I need to teach you? Because you already have it, it's inside you. You was five years old, you started figuring out how to play chorus. Eight string. You play, you sing. So today you're 12, you want me to sit down to teach you? I know you can do it. Who taught you this song you play? I said, nobody. I said, exactly, that's what I'm saying. And after that, I give up playing soccer. I fell <laughs> off. Yes. That's how I teach myself. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
seeing is about people I'm seeing us people love flowers I don't see anybody who hates flowers <laughs> everybody loves flowers why we don't love forgiveness Forgiveness is more important to flowers. A lot of people care about flowers better than forgiveness. Sometimes when I see people go to jail, some people, and you don't mean it, even you mean it, you already apologize, ask him forgiveness. No, it's not going to happen. But if somebody from somewhere give you flowers, you accept. Wow. Forgiveness. God bring us here to forgive to children. God then bring us here to fight, to kill, to be mean to children. That's not us. Even the animal, they stop fighting. Why people fight? Why people cannot forgive to jail? For what? You know you're going to die. So you're going to take that with you? You're not going to forgive? Please, please forgive to jail. Thank you.
what I see, I know the culture is different. I know people different. But basically what I see in America make me sad to see that how young people do them. So what I'm singing is about you when you were young, three years old four years old. You take care of yourself? No. You feed yourself? You cook your own meal. You, you eat it? No. Parents, they always there for you. No matter what, they always there. Grandpa, grandma, pops, mama, they always there for you. So today you grow up, you turn your back to them. That's ugly. It's not a beautiful thing to do. To treat adults like that. Especially when you're paying them. 
They fight their life for you. So now it's your turn. It's your turn to fight to pay them back. No, you don't have their time. Because what? They talk too much. Because what? They're born. You're the one who born. You're the one who talking too much. It's not them. Because they waste their time. They waste their life. They waste their happiness for you. You grow up, they're not important anymore. That's not negotiating to do. Let's respect our parents. And bless them, make them happy every single minute. I'm not saying every single day, every single minute. To always thankful for your parents.
song I learned when I was started playing Kora. That's my daddy's favorite song. It's a very hard song. It's very complicated. But I saw my daddy I can do this. <laughs> so I taught myself this song, but this song is older than even my dad. So this song is singing about peace. How to be, how to keep peace always, no matter what. Basically, they're singing about government. Because sometimes, I'm not saying sometimes, it's every day. <laughs> government, they make us to fight to change. They're playing us. I, I'm gonna hate you because we're not the same team. I'm not gonna like you. I'm not gonna hang out with you because we're not the same group. Who do that? Government. Why do we open our ears to listen to them? Let's not have their time. Let them play the game. We keep our peace, no matter what. That's what they're singing for. Peace. Don't listen to government. Too much. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>
When I moved to America, I have bad experience in America. Really bad. But I'm not blaming, I'm not judging. Because people, good people, they're everywhere. Bad people, they're everywhere. So when I first moved to America, I have uh, one week, I've been here for one week, I have a show. Somebody hired me, Shikori Fe uh, Festival Shikori, and Pittsburgh. I was playing there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Saturday night was my second show. I don't speak any English. No way. I speak uh, 12, 12 languages. Yes, French. 12 languages, but. Spanish? Yes, a little bit. <laughs> so, and then English is my 12th uh, my 13th one, but I was uh, speaking um, French. I can't speak English. So, when I done my performance in Shikori um, Saturday night, Two o'clock, right? And I was it was raining, a lot of rain and cold. So I I'm not used to be cold. <coughs> Africa we always hot. We don't have cold. Always. Always. So that's why when cold right. is happening here, I run away. <laughs> <laughs> when summer come, I come back. Right. <laughs> so anyway, and then when I don't play. 
I was looking my tent, where I set up my tent. I don't know where I set up my, my tent because so many tents and everywhere. So I was walk. I carried my cora. It was dark. And raining. Two girls was behind me, young girl. I was wearing my beautiful clothes. They was drunk. I on this side. What they do? They put their alcohol on top of my clothes. And say mean word to me, but I don't get it. I don't understand what they saying. I turn around. There was girl. I can't do nothing about it. I laugh. But the police, two police guys, there was there one police speak English, uh, French. He saw everything. And he tell me, come here, I come. And he asked me where I from. I tell him, and we started speaking French. He was helping me. And he raised the two girls. And then I say, please, let them go. Don't rest them. They don't understand. It's OK. Forgive them. They don't do to you. They do it to me. So I forgive them. So please forgive them. So and so many different uh, like experience what I have. Sometimes when I'm driving my car, police pull over me because my skin. And take me out of my car, searching my car, searching my hair, giving me something, putting it inside my mouth. That's me. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I've never do that in my life. But they do anyway. And treating me like I don't understand. So that's my experience. So I wrote this song about. The color is nothing. It's a piece of skin. Like, like a sand. White people care about color. My color is more important to your color. My color is more beautiful than your color. To us, human, from God, our color is ugly. God doesn't care who you are. He doesn't care what kind of skin you have. God cares in your heart. God needs your heart. God doesn't pay your skin. You white, or you black, or you blue, or yellow. God doesn't care about that. So the meaning is judge. The people, you don't know. The people, they different culture, or they different skin. They why you judge them? Why you look yourself? You think you the one, you the best? No, you're not. No matter who you are, we all equal. We all same. You know, better than me. I'm not better than you. We all same. Let's stop judging each other. Thank you.
to go to school. But my parents can offer for me to go to school. I really, really want to go to school. I can't. You know, when you're lucky, please, you share how lucky you are. Teacher, they are the parent. Some teacher, they are the parent. They have a child like you. They leave them home. They sacrifice their life for you. They've been to school for study for many years. One day they can become to be teacher, take care of you, give you something important, show you. So you home, you wake up in the morning, wash your teeth, eat your breakfast, your backpack, you went to school, who you first see, your teacher. And then you're in the classroom, what you do, playing game, and being acting weird, being acting like a child. Teacher, I wish I can be teacher. Because nobody can pay a teacher. That's no two. I don't believe that anybody can pay a teacher. Because it's a tough job. If you don't have energy, you can't be teacher. If you're not smart, you can't be teacher. If you don't have a piece, you can't be teacher. They collect all that, put that inside their body to give you that. And you come, you treat them like they're nothing. Yes, they're somebody. Every single day, they push here teaching. Because 
when daddy and mommy bring you here, you was having nothing inside you. When you come here, now whoa, boom, you have so many things, you're learning so many things. Who will give you that, mommy? No. Daddy? No. Teacher. But who share the teacher? Respect them. Respect them. And who share what they done for you? Thank you for all teachers. <coughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you guys like it. <laughs>